Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we've weakened. Yeah. <laughs> what? Anyways, welcome back. It's Fifty Shades of Grayscale, but not really, um, because I'm not gonna continue with the eleventh game this time. Uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna do a special little side thing since the first game was so short. Um. I, the Game Boy had a lot of games that you could finish, but there was also a lot of just sort of pick up and play stuff made for it, like arcade ports and puzzle games and stuff. And I just wanted to, you know, take a little, uh, a little journey through a few of those and how they adapted them to the uh, monochrome thing, the monochrome portable scene. So, starting us off. Oh, wait, no, we do have audio. All right. Fantastic. Sure. It's Dr. Mario. Nice. This is all you get for menu audio, though. Beautiful. All right, there so, you go. Music, uh, fever, chill, off. So as we know, Dr. Mario is a game based around three distinct colors. Yeah. Yeah, um... I'm gonna put my speed to low, because I'm a baby. I'm not good at Dr. Mario, and chill is the better music. Yeah. I like it. So, to solve that, we have three uh, monochrome patterns. We got this kind of thing, we got solid white, and then we got solid black. Yeah, there's... It's good that they only have the three, because... It's very easy to just do three different, you know, white, black, and a 50% dither. I suppose they could have, like... Because the Game Boy does have four colors. Four they could have done, like... Yeah. Yeah, because you can been... see they got two in the background. Oh, there's a guy yeah. left. Damn it. I couldn't see him. He was camouflaged. I do very much love the animation of him just flicking the pill out. Just get out of here. Yeah. This is basically just fixed Puyo Puyo. But I'm worse at it. Because, yeah, as soon as you get to anything like this, I just start failing miserably. This is my... Like, see, I've already just destroyed myself. You can still win. I could You're still fine. do something, but it's rough. Oh, so the three colors have to be in a wait, four in a line? Yeah. For the match four. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've set myself up okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's Dr. Right. Mario. Oh, that's not- that wasn't good. But this is something I wanted to do. Would you trust him with your life? No. <laughs> well, too bad. Dr. Mario isn't here to save my life. He's here to potentially- to further his research that might save my life. His unethical research. You've seen his methods. Dr. Mario's got what you need. He's oh, the one they call Dr. Mario. Oops. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was... He's gonna make I'm it sorry. feel... <laughs> He's gonna make it feel all right. He's oh, no. They call Dr. Mario. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. so... Now we're set up. Let me just uh, squeeze that. Oh, right, I forgot we had that. These guys always hide from me. I don't know why. The dither is invisible. A little bit. <laughs> but, yeah, that's that's Dr. Mario in a nutshell. <laughs> that's, you know, that's what you get. Dr. Mario actually does have endings, I'm pretty sure. And, like, if you turn your speed up to, like, the fastest setting and stuff, they'll, you know, do things. Hmm. But, uh... Where's that other thing? There we go. We're the one that doesn't play sound. But let's move on. 
Let's see. Ah, yes. I've hidden this, hidden this screen from everybody. <laughs> so you won't see my embarrassing collection. It's all Atome games. I didn't know they made that many for the Game Boy. It's crazy. <laughs> it's astonishing how many are actually in here. Anyways. You remember Tail Gator? Well, this has nothing to do with that. But it's also got gators. Dancing gators. Hmm. With... Like a pickle hob. <laughs> so many cool dances, gators. though. And off they go. Give them a hand, everybody! <laughs> Anyways, this is, this is Revenge of the Gator, made by HAL Laboratory, whom we just played their Kirby game and enjoyed. It is a pinball game. <laughs> is there some sort of, like, gator resurgence in the early 90s or something? Gators are pretty think... cool. They're very, they're very radical. Oh, man. As far this as This whole, like, the flash when the ball transitions screens It's is not pleasant. Killer. <laughs> Especially Oof. when you are stuck Oof. between two screens. Oof. Oof. Oh, I have no boy. control anymore. Oh no. But we've been eaten. Oh, we got eaten. So that's not like a a penalty, oh, thankfully. That's I suppose on on actual hardware that wouldn't have that would have been less bad. Less apparent for sure. Yeah, because oh, it's not gonna be yeah. flashing at you. It's gonna be like We got ourselves a block. Blank. Oh man, almost. Somebody said in chat, this, these gators reminds me of the Beagle Boys from yeah. the opening screen gators. Kind of, yeah. We've got, we, got, we got some optimal conditions here. We got our blocks, and we're in the bonus area. Let's face it, there's a tad unnerving. He'll, oh, oh no. He'll, uh, his mouth will open eventually, and then we gotta get in there. I don't know so if I've ever gotten in there. Uh-oh. Hmm. So, like, on this screen, you are <gasps> defeating ninjas? I don't know. I think they're dancing gators. <laughs> they're just like, dancing gators. Yeah, they Like, no, the, the, uh... The... You know, like, the shape with the two dots on it. Is that not a, does that not read as a ninja to you? A little bit. I see where you're coming from. Because I saw that episode of Dexter's Lab. <laughs> it's not a very good reason not to like the game, Pixel Heroes Germany. It's pinball and I don't like it. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like that. The, I like the tiers that this table has, oh. <laughs> so that, like, you know... Now let's play Breakout, but pinball, never mind. <laughs> We're in, oh, that's what that area yeah. is. It does drop you into the highest level, though. Yay! Dancing Gators Dancing gave us more Gators. gators. Thanks, Dancing Gators. Uh, if we break, they do look like a little, like, ninjas. They don't have top hoods, though. Oh. No, no! You can bounce your way back up there, potentially, but it's it's difficult. This is like the best round I've had in a while. <laughs> Electronic Gaming Monthly gave this game a 62, calling the pinball game repetitive. Yeah? It's a pinball game. <laughs> it's, that is the nature of what you do in a pinball game. You try to repeat as much as possible. <laughs> What are you looking for in a play? Are you looking to for get RPG all, elements? To get a bunch of points. Oh, they, <laughs> wait till you see Pokemon Pinball, motherfucker. <laughs> but you're gonna have to wait. I just launched myself okay. all the way up. And now I'm going back down. Frankly, like, compared to some pinball games, this one's less repetitive than I've seen. I kind of like the, uh, the different tiers of the table. and 
I'll always be biased. Not sure what the towards what is Pokeball like pinball. pinball? Gators are back. No, towards towards uh, the Sonic pinball game from Sonic Adventure. Oh, <laughs> that one. Yeah. yeah. The one with but which one? Okay, yeah. Yeah. There was two, I think. There's yep. yeah. The, there's the Sonic one and then the Knights one. The uh, Knights one Knights was one. pretty great. Because you can unlock a secret if you play it long enough. All these angel gators. <laughs> this bonus game is slightly annoying in that it just sort of can immediately get out of your control. But can we make that gator drop? No. Release him. Oh. But at least it gives you a fast track here. This game was titled Revenge of the Gators because gators eat your pinball. They do. Wait. A thing I have not been able you to demonstrate. No, look at all look at all these gators. They're everywhere. Why would I be a gator? I'm playing pinball. <laughs> For some reason I assumed the gators were the protagonists. <laughs> They're just all over the place. There is no good or bad for you. Only gators. <laughs> There's only, only gators. gators. And only ball. You're either gator or you're a ball. Aww. Boo. At least the door didn't close. This is apparently just gonna be me playing pinball all day. I had other games to show you, but I'm on a roll. Sorry. <sighs> ah! Gators aren't allowed to play pinball. -y. Well, hold up. <laughs> Who decided that for the gators? Florida. We've been to the bio already. Do gators Everybody have rights? has rights. <laughs> gators may not be allowed to play pinball legally, but gators but... also are criminals. But like in a cool way. It's true. They're above the law. Like you saw those guys at the beginning. They looked like they were ready to bust open a safe. Please don't bust open safes. They're heavy. That's why you gotta bust them. Wait, is that really your only problem with that? They're very difficult to, like, bust into. Just don't trouble yourself, really. Yeah, like, it's, I'm it's, sorry, it's, dude. It's not worth it. Not all those from... millions of dollars. Wait, you tried to bust a safe? I did. Okay. We're learning I mean, things today. Sense. We're admitting crimes today on a fish No, I, I, I bought a safe because somebody said crimes. it's hard to break into a safe. So I said, sure, oh. let's see how hard. <laughs> there was... We were doing a move once, and the customer had a safe that she couldn't remember the combination, so it just, was just open all the time, and also it was, oh like, God. incredibly heavy. <laughs> so we just kind of had to work around it, and presumably when, at the end, when they needed to tear out the floor and replace it, they, like, moved it, you know, two feet at great expense, and then just kind of moved it back after tearing out the floor. Oh. 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 Release oh, him. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Get oh. out of here! <laughs> yeah. right. I don't know what that did for me. <laughs> Boston makes me feel good. You're right. <laughs> I gotta get up there. I gotta know. Or do you sometimes I forget that you take any arbitrary statement as a challenge. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, all the ninjas on the right are defeated. I can go past their gate. I challenge you uh, to take TT's statement as no! a challenge. No! Shit! <laughs> <laughs> I was so close. I can't when I was a kid, in the, uh... When I was in California, oh. then... Oh, there we go. During the day, oh, there you go. <laughs> it's it's oh, got oh such beautiful gosh. eyelashes. Um, <laughs> that's Revenge of the Gator. I'm gonna, uh, Revenge of the Gator. I'm gonna, yeah, we're gonna move on. I'm curious about the rest of the story, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Tell your Gator story, actually, or whatever. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's, a, it's a pinball story, not a right. Gator story. But... Tell your pinball story. Oh. I'll keep playing a little bit. Okay. Anyway. The, I was in like a daycare thing that or a day club program. Sure. Mm -hmm. And 
you know, on the computers there, very few games. So what we were doing was playing lots and lots and lots of the uh, the pinball game that came with, like, I believe, Windows 98. Mm -hmm. The the Space Cadet one? That's the one. Yeah. yeah. I love that game. I got three million points and ev nobody believed me. Nobody <gasps> believed that was my ice cream. Uh, you gotta screen, you gotta hit print screen and save that in MS Paint. <laughs> It's the only way. Yeah. Heck yeah, Spice could have him ball. That shit was awesome. I wonder if it's <sighs> any... Where do I get that on modern Windows? I'm sure it's somewhere. Yeah. If not just on modern Windows. <laughs> well, maybe... I think I have it on Windows 7. Huh, like it was just still in the default about... games folder. <laughs> it's called Full Tilt. Pinball. Uh, yeah, you can just get it. <laughs> woo, woo. Huh. Oh, oh, oh. No. Ah, I found a website where you can just have it. All right. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Time to put the pudding in the proof. I will get three million points before anyone. Before All right. Even PO? Yes. Before even PO. All right. That's enough for Revenge of the Gator for now. Let's move on. Sure. I'm gonna be playing pinballers this time, so. <laughs> um. I will save this state though. <laughs> Moment. All right. What's next? Ah, yes. Something that is very close. <laughs> that is literally right next to Revenge of the Gator, alphabetically. <laughs> hmm. Could it be? Revenge of the Hater. <laughs> <laughs> No! <laughs> it's Pac-Man. <laughs> oh, man. So yo, close. yo, yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Here comes Pac-Man. It's Pac-Man. Um, it's very condensed Pac-Man. The screen moves along with you. <laughs> and you can't huh. tell which ghosts are which. I they made, it. this is a bad example of Game Boy ports from arcades, I would say, because they made no effort to differentiate go a color-coded <laughs> game mechanic. I don't remember what it was. Well, I guess, like, I don't know how relevant it is that the... They have behaviors. They do have behaviors, and it, but... And the color is a good shorthand to realize what behaviors you should be planning for. Hmm. Uh? Yeah. <laughs> it's got all the Pac-Man things. It sure does. Eka beeka beeka. Waka waka. Waka waka. It's me, Fuzzy. Gotta love me. Wait. <laughs> I'm Pac-Man, gotta love me! I can't believe after he left WWE, Neville's gimmick became Pac-Man. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I like that a lot. Fun fact, yeah, there is a... The only cover... or The only parody Weird Al ever did of a Beatles song was of Taxman, and it was uh, Pac-Man. <laughs> Taxman! I'm the Pac-Man! Duh. Uh uh, eat the cherry. <laughs> but yeah. For like a week at work, me and my boss have just been doing I'm the bad guy. Uh, like, what? I guess. Whoa! <laughs> you just fucking clip through that ghost. That's a Yay. move only I'm the professionals the can do. So don't even try time. it. 
Okay. Watch out! Anyways, that's all I really wanted to get to. It's the attack of the pack in the back of the Also, hey, it's a Pac Man where you can pause. Moving on! <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna go back a little further in the alphabet for a game that I'm including based on nostalgia purposes. <laughs> Cause I own this game. I got okay. Here we go. I'll explain further. Caesar's Palace. Oh, nice. Oh, th <laughs> this. I think I think I had this game or wait no no I didn't have this game my dad had this game because <laughs> he had a Game Boy like the slim one for taking on flights oh the Game Boy Pocket yeah I have a Game Boy Pocket it is ice blue uh, I remember the I remember the commercial for that. <laughs> that's an S I can oh, see okay, it. Yeah, it's, it's got the it's pixels. The, it actually kind of reads. Lightning bolt Caesar's ass. Yeah, it reads better from far further away. Actually. <laughs> so you have a thousand dollars credit? Okay. Yeah, come back here when you're ready. Cash in your chips. Good luck. Enjoy your visit with us. I got this game as a gift from my aunt, cause she she knew I played a video game. Let's go to the bathroom. Hell yeah. So we're all done. Yes. Flush. Oh. Okay. <laughs> we can go to either one. Is there a different? No. No. Nope. All right. All right. But yeah, it's a. It, this is a I casino think. game, um, featuring all the pointlessness of virtual gambling entails, like playing a fake poker game. At least it's not slots. If, I was gonna say playing fake slots, but at least this one's like, sort of have fun, like as a game. All right, what do we get? Let's see. Get rid of those two. That's nothing. You got Jackson Kings and Nines. You want to go for the straight? Uh, I. Hmm. We don't really have I any don't... doubles already, so. Yeah, I'll definitely get rid of that four. Yeah, yeah why not? Fuck it. <laughs> Absolutely not. Credit. <laughs> let's let's get spicy. <laughs> Nice. Oh, sh well. Oh, well. I mean, big okay. obvious. Yay. I like the uh, deafening silence that comes with playing these games. <laughs> yeah. No background music is a little odd. Mm, let's, you know, let's chance get that. Nope. That one, $5. Yeah. I broke even. They don't want to break your concentration. Yeah, video poker is like... You know, if you can stomach it, it's like one of the better ones for... You know, Just playing. the odds are less in the house's favor than in some games. Sure. Alright. Let's, uh... This is Blackjack, I believe? Let's bet ten dollars. Oh, hey. Oh, there's some music. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, 19's pretty good. I think you got it. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm that's... never listening to you again. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> well, the odds are not in favor the, of that. The strongest defeat possible. <laughs> Alright, we're going to... Let's do another practice. Hit up? Well, yeah. I mean, I guess, it's it's an nice. ace it could have, yeah. Oh, we yeah. can double down. I forgot what that means in the... Uh, you double your bet, and I think you get one card. The odds are pretty good. Most... Hey! Uh, yeah. Because yeah, there's, there's a really solid number of cards that are 10. 
It's true. You gotta get a card. The odds are it's gonna be worth ten. Yeah, when you're at eleven, you can't you can't bust. So. All right, let's 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 go for big boy dollars. Ooh. That just counts as a twenty, right? Yeah. Yeah. Get fucked. <laughs> 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 Moving on. Roulette's my game. Humor <laughs> rage. I got. All right. Bet it all on red. Wait, no. Bet it all. No. Okay. Where's the? Oh, that's right. It's uh, the bottom it's... middle. Though. Yeah, it's the little things. Okay, we're gonna bet. Yo. I bet $69 on the red. Nice. Nice. If I was running this casino, I'd just give it to you. Nice. <laughs> you did it. You got... <laughs> Winner, 69 Nice. Nice. Uh... And then the oh. wheel. Update. Million points. Alright, good job. Yeah. Uh, right. 20 to 1. Okay, so 10 to 1's on 10, 1 to 1, you know. These are just multipliers, basically. What are we thinking? Or, you go for the Caesar or the Cleo for 40. Um, bet on Cleo. Why not? 100 on Cleo. Let's go. Yeah, let's get 4,000 4, bucks. Not close whatsoever. Why would you? Well, oh. and finally, like... the slot machines. Ah, uh, the most. Fortune. Crank it. Jesus. <laughs> what a. That's a really good sound. What a disheartening. God. Yeah. Bob, boop, Bob. Uh, this does not have any of the the things that real slot machines have to to get you invested. <laughs> Noise and beeps and boops. Yeah. All right, lady. All right, Susie. I'm I'm done. I've lost. Eight hundred and eighty dollars from Caesar's pals. Congratulations. Norman will be glad to get you a cab. Be sure to come visit again soon. Bye. Bye from Susie. Bye. Hi, uh, Susie, you're my best friend. Now leaving Las Vegas. <laughs> I'm gonna go on Zizix. <laughs> what? Hmm. This. Why have this? <laughs> like, the, the game is just a time wasty, you know, little thing. <laughs> it's the... a fully immersive experience. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess. Anyways, and that's Caesar's Palace. I just want to gamble. That's the 11th game on Fit to Shit No. <laughs> Moving on. We did get an ending. Any percent, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, next up. Is once I, once I find it. What's your update? Two million. Points. Two million. What was what the goal? Eight million? Three. Was it three? I thought yeah. you said you got eight million. Did you get eight million, Pia? I got three. Oh, if, I'm I mean, pretty sure you got eight million. <laughs> this was like 20 years ago. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he got eight million. All right, I'm on ball two. I'll get there. Okay. All right. Next up in our arcade and puzzles. Ah, uh, Mario's pit cross. I don't get Mario. Get away from me! <laughs> it's a me. I'm everywhere. Back off. Wait, I am. <laughs> I am all of existence. It's a me. Yeah. So they're well into the 
This is where Mario's design it kind of solidified. Oh yeah. 90, 95, you've been around for it keeps winking at me. quite a while. This theme song is just so, like, bombastic. I am unencompassing. Mm. <laughs> I reject your... Good ol' 19... Ape Inc. What did they do? I know they did something. They did Earthbound, didn't they? Ape Inc.? Yeah. It doesn't... Uh, yeah. Where is spider wing -Eater? Ape Inc. I'm gonna confess something right now. Yeah, they did make Earthbound. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna confess something. I've never played a Picross game. Me neither. So? So you know I what? Either. I don't know what you're supposed to do. Maria's gonna explain <laughs> it to us. Hey, kids! It's time for us to solve the mystery know. of Picross. Oh my god, she just showed up suddenly. We have summoned her by saying freaking Earthbound. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Like Pokemon. Oh! Uh, a Ape went on to become Creatures Inc. and then they made Pokemon. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. It's time to solve yeah. the mystery of Picross. The mystery lies in the number at the top. And the left side. Of the window. Together, we'll help you draw the secret picture. Okay. Solve the puzzle correctly. The entire picture will be shown. That's the letter N. <laughs> sure is. Yeah. Can't argue. Here are the rules to solving the mystery. Thank you. <laughs> the numbers above the columns. Please say how me many me boxes me. you need to chisel in the downward direction. This one is a five. There, go down five. Okay. Oh, all. Oh, five of those. Okay. Huh. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Man, thirty you will, minutes. <laughs> you will be killed. <laughs> Choose wisely. Try not to panic. How? Oh, B. Right. <laughs> With hint. Easy Picross or man's Picross? Are, are you baby or? I am baby, but I also understand now. He explained it very simply to me. Kinoko. 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 Kinoko course. The Full of minutes. With hint. No. Fifteen straight squares. That's, That's three. All across. Like every oh, you games. can recover them. Oh. So we got kind of a border going on. Yeah. Hmm. 
Hmm. This is neat. And then this one. Oop. <laughs> Just imagining Mario actually chiseling, then going, wait, shit. Oh! Oh! Yeah, you beat it. Wait. Yeah, that's one there, skip then, one, then two. Then, well, skip some amount. Skip at least one. Oh, okay. Yeah. There is the challenge. Yeah, so... Nothing else is going to go in that second from the top row. <sighs> two, okay. and then two. Oh, yeah, two and then two, yeah. Two, okay, so that then there's nine from... somewhere. Probably all yeah, of these. Yeah, so that's... Yeah, so that's all five in the middle there, and then the two on either side. Group across. That's one, then six consecutive. Yes. All numbers are consecutive, except for the skips. And right, then another yeah, one skips. at some point. So that's not where... It... That's probably it? Because it's got to be a one, yeah, it's a one and a one. Yeah. Oh. Nope. No? Oh, I sp Okay, yeah. This one Never. is probably yeah, It did not have to be. And it didn't have to be, yeah. Okay. I think all, I think all those sixes are gonna be... next to each other. Probably. Alright. I guess we should be making use of that tool that it's like, maybe this one. Like, it could be that, could be that, could be that. Definitely isn't that. Okay, all the ones that are four twos, we've got those filled, so nothing else is going to go inside that box you've got marked. Or the... Okay, it's gonna, it's a Game Boy. <laughs> oh yeah it is so yeah this is the same so it's god how apropos <laughs> damn it <laughs> I'm a fool Oh, why am I? Okay, hold on. <laughs> I should be paying attention to where these are. Okay, it's got that one's got it. Next to each other. So, either uh, it's a two, a one, a three. So these need to probably that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's it. It's a... oh, that's how you depict the buttons, not like logically. <laughs> oh, Mario's still happy with me. Well, that's fun. Congratulations! It's a Game Boy. Eh. It's funny at a Game Boy printer. I have no idea. I think by that oh, it like was. Oh, like the Game Boy Pocket printer. All right, and that's Mario Picross. Moving on. <laughs> Blast off and strike the evil Bino Empire. Our type. Ooh. It's our type. Is, is this an original Game Boy IP? Our type? It was in arcades, I believe. I, At yeah, least I NES. It it's like Gradius. <laughs> mm -hmm. But with no Moai heads, as far as I know. No. It was the, the more serious one. Okay, so the original was released in arcades in 1987, and it's this poster is just 100% a ripoff of the Alien from Alien. <laughs> Absolutely. That's like that was they were big on that. This and Contra really big on that. Oh yeah, these guys are very. Oh, I hit the ceiling. Ah, uh, not allowed. Right. Ready. Do things that are allowed. It's harsh. It's back at these cannons. These guys are also all kind of just 
xenomorphs. Yeah. Kind of hovery xenomorphs. Hmm. And that wouldn't be a bad sprite to redraw, try and figure out what's going on. Oh! I have a beam! Charge up your power. I don't know if I can get these guys. I think I can get this guy. I thought I would be able to. Oh no. Yeah, it... I mean, that just makes sense, but... You are confounded. Oh. I'm not very good at... Our types and their types. <laughs> I'm just gonna call them all our types. Side scrolling shmups, you know. Yeah. That old deal. Shmups that you side scroll. Your Gradius, your Parodiuses. You hit the ceiling and die. I'm Good not ready. Alright. Raymu Let's... never hits the ceiling and dies. You're right. <laughs> Raymu would never do this to me, and neither would Marisa. She would just steal my shit. <laughs> Moving on. Why would she do that? Isn't it precious to you? That's a different thing. To yeah, steal. <laughs> Marissa, st <laughs> Marissa stole my precious shit. <laughs> Give it back! Alright. Let's move on to something real special. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm worried. You should be. Oh, no. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> no. we're back, one. baby. THQ, it's in the game. <laughs> Man, who, how many people worked on this damn thing? Be the Hunchback of Notre Dame, Topsy Turvy Games. Oh. Do you like mini game collections without yeah. color? Um, I do prefer color. Too bad. Music? Sound? Yeah. Skill? Easy. High scores. Do I have any? No. 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 Sizzler. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've played ah, this game. Be five games. Five fantastic games. And, and a fun, fun fair. fair. We'll get to that later. All, all these companies and they made five games. The Chiseler, let's begin. It is. Is it Pycross? Reverse back Breakout. Oh. And you get to hear this song. Like, all the time. And if you break all the. Yes, uh. A randomized. Oh. A randomized selection of, uh. Images of all your favorite characters will be behind the blocks and you gotta chisel them out. I guess the round them. God, the hand. At, <laughs> this is a little the... gargoyle hand, I think. Oh I hope it's a gargoyle. No. Oh, we seem to be batting birds around just into solid stone. <laughs> <laughs> this sprite work is very MS Painty. It's not great. There is several levels of things to, to, that I have to show you in this game. <laughs> Oh, you're almost at the pie. Oh, I gotta get it! Uh. Wait, it, why is it shrouded in black? <laughs> what? Like, there's no transparency around the pie's sprite. Oh, no. Just a... It says background. Uh, the worst part of every breakout game. <laughs> <laughs> get it! Hey, it's Esmeralda. I this is, I'm doing worse than I've ever done, but I hope I can make it to my favorite portrait in this. As uh, TT is desperate to know why this, I'm gonna just assume timing. This came out, this was the movie of the year. Yeah, this has gotta be like tail end of Game Boy's life, also. Like, it probably had Game Boy Color, like, functionality, but they still coded it to be, you know, workable on the grayscale interface, so... Uh, free the fairies from the pie. 420 blackbirds baked in a pie. 
Alright, that one wasn't... This is relatively painless. Oh no, it's just Esmeralda again. Alright. It's just truly random. That's a shame. It's annoying, yeah. I want to see... <laughs> Grayscale Frollo. <laughs> or oh, the horse? <laughs> I don't think the horse is a character. I think it was oh. just a horse. It's not tangled. No, he... Uh, he was definitely... Was he had a name, yeah. but like he was not a fucking character. <laughs> he was just a horse. He was a twice used gag. Yes. It turned into a wheel. Achilles, as his name. Right? I think. I'll take your word for it. The horse and Tangled was. I was thinking of the horse and Tangled was just Maximus, and I couldn't think of Achilles. I think you're right. I think they I have, have a to tendency back. to name horses after that. After just Greek mythological figures. Or, I don't know if Maximus is, but it sounds like one. <laughs> it's not Greek mythological, but it's very, you know, classical, Roman-y. Well, I guess, you know, like Achilles, if a horse breaks its oh, leg... Oh, the, uh... Yeah, the, the fairies in the pie will break blocks for you. <gasps> that sure is a sentence. Oh, that's how you get that! Yeah, sure, dog. <laughs> I'll do whatever. Okay, so while playing the mini game, you have unlocked the wheel, which challenges you to play another mini game. So I was gonna just reveal this later, but the wheel, um, oh man, this is gonna reveal things. No, you know what? I'm not spoiling that yet. <laughs> oh yeah. So in addition, if you spin the wheel, it gives you specific challenges of each mini game. Oh. Um, you can, I guess, earn them within the games, like that, which I didn't know. Or, you can, um, enter a code for them. Can't skip those. Anyways, oh, we were just gonna get to that anyways, but I want to show it in its true form. Jolly Bowling. Or, I think that's how you pronounce that. Jolly Bowling? Anyways, check out this... Really well animated goat. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna go straight on and we're gonna go full power. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Usually that works, but I guess not this time. This goat is really well trained. <laughs> Yeah! We did it! The goat, the the goat just spin dashing down there. <laughs> like, he's not even just charging like a goat. He nope, really we just roll him! He's just hedgehogging it down the lane. <laughs> also, I like this. I mean, a lot of these sprites are repeated, um, but I do like the guy with the big ol' nose. It's good. It's very jolly. Yeah, it's quite the. Quite the nose. He's got an intimidating gaze. And then there's, there's like, man, half of that sprite, and then half of like, you know, just like a generic smiling sprite, you know, on the right hand side there, just some kind of horrifying mishmash of oh, nose and goat sent into the crowd. <laughs> lesser nosed one. Thousands of casualties. I don't huh. know. I don't know <laughs> when this game really ends, but things Wait, start happening. It? I guess I. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, f we'll see. It's gonna go to at least seven. So. It goes beyond it goes that. I can assure okay. you. I mean, ten is the traditional end goal. <laughs> Unless you get a bunch of strikes. That's true. Hey, speaking of. I don't know what makes it, what triggers it. There's a thing that I want everyone to see. <laughs> God. God. 
Got picked up the spare. Um, I remember the last time I bowled. What up, got a bowling? I haven't bowled in a long time. I yeah, it's been a little while for me. I, I always want to. I live right by a bowling alley that still somehow is open. Hell, same. It's like you know, one block up and two blocks down. It's by the burrito place I love to go to, and I keep thinking like, let's go bowling. Fuck it, dude. I was like, oh, hey. I, <laughs> I try to come up with hey. alternatives. Hey. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> they put Did so much like... effort into that goat animation. It's like supposed to be fair music. Oh. Uh, Something. <laughs> Aw, oh, man. I wanna... <laughs> I, on one hand, I really should leave. On the other hand, there's something that I clearly didn't do well enough to earn. That I did in my practice run. I'm gonna try and get more strikes. Alright, just keep knocking them down. Oh. I don't know if this is good enough. Nah, nah. Nah. There's like no way to deal with splits, because there's no real physics. <laughs> like, you can curve your goat. Oh, I guess I could have made him go slower. Hmm. Huh. But I need yeah, strikes. Yeah, I guess max power may not be the... Cause there is a Just gotta do that. It's as easy as that. Yeah, just get strikes. Just just get them. Just gotta. Just get those strikes. Be a goat, get strikes. This game cheated. So arbitrary to earn a strike. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you could generally get one here. God, these sprites just break so many of like the rules of doing pixel art. Like the goat's walking animation is just like a a list of what not to do. Is look at the triangles on the far right and far left of the. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those stray pixels just jutting out. <laughs> Look, man. Try slow. Oh, too slow. Too, too slow. Too slow. Watch out. <laughs> Look out. Come on. Do you think that in universe the goat is doing this itself? And there's like, you know, the player doesn't represent an actual person. Yeah. They've just trained this goat to do this. That thing is I spinning so much, just hit the last one. What a lovely time people are having in the Hunchback of Notre Dame, the Disney movie. <laughs> I'm having fun! Alright. I think like 66% slowness? Think about here? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it's so oh. If it was slightly to the right, I think it would have done it. All no! Right. 10 frames, 95. Oh. I think if you get over a hundred, the thing happens. We're gonna make this happen, I'm sorry. I don't know how I did so well the other time. I like, unlocked the secret of strikes. And now I lost it. 
channel your inner goat whisperer. Okay. As long as I'm picking up spares, right? Yeah, that'll... Well, I don't know. I guess because it's... Okay. Okay, because... <laughs> That's just random. I'm not sure how the scoring works in this, because, I mean, there are only six pins. Yeah. So there's a lot more room to, like... <laughs> but it still seems like a strike is worth ten. A bowler is someone participating in a sport of bowling, either as an amateur or professional. Oh, oh. I was worried you were going to curve away from that last one. Scoring a kegler is 12 consecutive strikes in one game of bowling by one individual bowler. A kegler? A yeah. kegler. There are a number of bowling tournaments held around the world. Yeah! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Who do you think you are? I <laughs> <laughs> channeling the spirit of Walter Way Williams Jr., a professional bowler and horseshoes pitcher. Hmm. That makes sense. He holds the PBA Tour career title of 47 uh, when That's pretty rad. Yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take it head on. Damn. All right, I have can I do it again? Very few times in my life, but I have never like done it successfully ever. I've done it a couple oh. times, and oh. when I did, we like I I got a horseshoe around the thing, and I was like, I'm the greatest, and I don't I don't think we played for much longer after that, because only like two other people got it on, so like the game wasn't really going anywhere. Uh, they acknowledged Mark? your greatness, I, I assume. Mark Roth is an American professional bowler known for bringing the first bowl with a cranker style delivery. Oh, mm. what? He cranked it! <laughs> he is also known as the first professional bowler to convert a 7 10 split on national television. Nice! Go, Mark Dang. Roth. Man, there we go! Oh, that's what you. All right. <laughs> this this slightly off version of the can can, right? <laughs> it's just magical. Anyways, back to this. I think that must just be for triple strikes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wouldn't that just make sense? Marshall Holman is an American sports broadcaster, professional bowler. He was known for his flamboyant success on the PBA tour. What? His flamboyant <laughs> success. I don't say it again like it makes more sense now. <laughs> flamboyant <laughs> success. No, nothing has been successful. Flamboyantly. I'm I'm so mad at you two. What does that mean? <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> I'm saying we're not playing this again. Oh my god. We're gonna play catch a fool. Catch a fool? Who's the fool? Or catch the fool. Oh, it's the it's fool. us for playing Hunchback of Notre Dame, Tatra Theory Games. Yeah, that's right. Catch these fools! Oh, whoa! Whoa! <laughs> whoa. <laughs> People are you falling out of the. Oh. You yeah. cannot do that. It, no, absolutely not. I do People not condone People are falling off the damn windows and you gotta catch them. It almost looks Ooh. like they're being thrown by force. I can, like, do super speed with my boost. Or is this photo of an actual man or of, like, a PS4 rendering of a man? He doesn't look no, real. No, it's a real man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm way bounced oh, so... down by my riches. Okay. Why are these women throwing these fools out the window? Because <laughs> they're fools. <laughs> is this the man who, who won flamboyantly? Who succeeded? Uh, no, this is just a man who's good at bowling. I'm the man who won flamboyantly was Marshall Holman. 
<laughs> what? I'm so sorry uh, that this ketchup pool is being. Dis I'm totally distracted. No, it's fine. This game's kind of. It's. I. I can't say it sucks per se, but like it. It's just this. What I'm gonna that? let the. I'm gonna let these fools hit the ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he just hit the ground. Are you going? Oh, Man, they no. take those bumps straight on their tailbone. Marshall Holman was a disc jockey in Medford, and he was nicknamed Holman the Pole Man. Yeah. Oh. Uh. <laughs> when he was a bowler, he was named Holman the Bowl Man. <laughs> <laughs> the animations on the fools remind me of uh, the first Prince of Persia game, the DOS one. Same. Oh, yeah, with his, like, smooth jumps. Yeah, where they just did too many frames. Yeah, I think... I think for that one, they they rotoscoped them. So they were drawn over, like... Yeah, they, they just they just ran around in their yard <laughs> and did things. Like, I think the dude, the programmer's, like, uh, cousin or something, like his younger cousin. just He just filmed him running around the yard and climbing on shit, and he just rotoscoped that. Did they rotoscope people getting dropped on a, out of a window? Probably. No. Catch the fool. No. Upsy Daisy is. Well, you'll see. But first, we must select a player. Oh, no. Do we do this clown? This man in a possum suit. I do oh, like man. that. Our good, our good boy, uh, Clapan. Clapan. Uh, yeah. what I can only assume is Claire in a crab outfit? <laughs> I mean... Or go to the main menu, like a sense of... <laughs> uh, it, it's gotta be the crab, right? It's it's a lobster. You were, in fact, a lobster. This is shitty balloon fight. Okay. You can go spin, crab, and you can uh, and you can swipe. And... Ah, uh, yes. You, you can sort oh. of control your direction. It doesn't feel good at all. The way your legs are dangling, it makes- it, I just keep seeing the letter R over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, he- Man, I forgot, like, the animations in this are kind of amazing, though. Like, cause he actually bites with his possum head. And, like, I think the dude- the dude who's the clown is, like, one of those ones that are, like, when they were saying, like, Oh, every king's a clown. In Topsy Turvy. So he's- he's double-sided. And he'll flip hmm. over to the king one to hit you. That's hmm. clever. It's like, there's things to this, but they all kind of suck. <laughs> you could make something fun out of this. If this <laughs> oh, was if there was just fucking took your balloon. Oh, did it do that, actually? I wasn't Sorry, sure if... I wasn't yeah. sure if that was actually affecting me. Anyways, I don't want to do this anymore. I quit. Kill me. Kill me. The AI isn't aggro enough at early stages. Come on, bird. End my misery. Nope. Come on. Come on. Quit trying to hit me and hit me. Kill me. Pull the trigger, piglet. You might need to kill me. Do it. Kill me. <laughs> Don't do that. There you go. Ah. Down to your oh. death, you fell. Sorry, this is a game of rounds, apparently. <laughs> Fuck that. My punishment is having to watch this intro again. We all came together to make five different games. <laughs> and finally, the picture puzzle. Whose glorious visage do we want to do? Is it Jolly? Is it Esmeralda? Is it this guy from King's Quest? Is it <laughs> Varolo? <laughs> Is it Jason Alexander? Is it Clopan? Is it, um, I guess Quasimodo? Is it the lobster man with the balloon skin? <laughs> or is it the main menu? I'm I mean, torn between Frollo and Lobster, honestly. Yeah, it's tough. I'm dig maybe Frollo? Frollo. Do you want to see his- I need- Oh, <laughs> god, those lips. 
So geometric. <laughs> Why did this game get all Bs? Was what? That seems very high. Whoa! No, we're just playing the wrong version. Oh, clearly. I just love the lips just kind of in the middle. Oh, okay, on Windows, it was much prettier. Wow. I bet. Very kissy face. Mm. He's just, he's <laughs> also, the big, the long nose, like, <laughs> the long nose thing in the crowd was a scarecrow. What? I see. That intense gaze is just <laughs> seething. I am. <laughs> Hellfire! Dark fire. Just fire. Like this oh. burning desire. I did it! Oh. <laughs> oh, it's really not Hellfire. good. Hellfire! Okay. I mean, I we did that one so quickly, I'm kind of clear curious about the lobster. Alright. Let's do it. Let's see what the actual full res of this lobster is. Mm -hmm. If we just look at the preview, it'll give us enough. Oh, the lobster man. Okay, that that's enough. Then. Come on, what did? Yeah, I was hoping for more. All right, something really special. Um, <coughs> can someone look up a code for the fun fair? I found one with a quick Google, but hmm. I uh, forgot what it was already. Okay, what are these called? Topsy Turvy Games? Yeah, the fun fair codes. Yeah, you gotta uh, Andrew, roll up for look. Try your luck at the Wheel of Fortune. It is not actually a wheel because it is determined exclusively by a number value in this case. But I guess it's actually a wheel when you find it randomly. Uh. Unfortunately, sad to say it, invalid tick. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. I've got two challenge tickets. Are these sure. what we're looking for? Yeah. Okay. Uh, catch the fool, fun fair code. 76431. Okay. What's the other one? Is it a... Uh... The other one I've got is Chiseler. Give me the Chiseler. The Chiz. Give me Zero that. 04 <laughs> 419. <laughs> Jesus, they really, <laughs> they really edge you on these damn things. <laughs> the Chiseler, you are challenged to complete level seven. The Chiseler with just one ball. Aw, oh, darn! Ball. I was hoping oh. we would get a Frollo. He's flexing. Oh, All right, come on, bird. Don't fail us. God, these loops are all so short. Mm -hmm. mm. They're just so good. Or, Why not hear them again? Or maybe they're not even as short. Maybe they just like. Have... Oh, he's he's not flexing. That's Quasimodo. <laughs> oh. oh, there he is. Oh. Mm mm. Ooh. Dramatic lighting on this guy. Mm mm. He's so mad. Mm mm. Not about it. Mm -mm. <laughs> I can't remember which one's Victor and which one's Hugo. Just give it to me. Give it to me. I know it's the Chiseler. <laughs> Victor's the tall one, right? I don't know. I have to look at it. 
Uh, gargoyles. I haven't seen that movie in a while. Well, you shouldn't see for the gargoyles, that's for sure. I didn't! <laughs> God, your ball's so sideways. I, I live for this drama. For this tension. <laughs> Reloading at a battle is exhilarating. Not slow. Get the pie! <sighs> you think that's bad? I'm losing a bird. <laughs> there we go. I've completed your challenge. What's my reward? Hmm. I'm sure about the nose right. on that. Congratulations, here's some sperm. <laughs> some of those look in bad shape. They can't all be winners. <laughs> Oh no! Unfair. Oh. <laughs> More no. like unfunfair. <laughs> oh <Man>. no! <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh boy. Anyways, moving on. Ah, uh, they Let's... came from sideways balls. <laughs> How can we move on from this? <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to follow that up, but I'll, I'll, we'll find something. Give me one sec. I don't believe you. You better get me fucking Coleman the Bullman or whatever his name was. <laughs> Later. Get us an actual fun fair. And finally, the granddaddy of them all. The oh, ultimate, yeah. the ultimate seller on the Game Boy, Tetris. Timeless classic. Oh, wait, there. We go. Let me select. This. There we go. Whoa. They're kicking it up there. <laughs> yeah, now uh... B B type was. I always like B type. We'll start our levels there. It's Tetris. Yeah, that's the tune, but it, baby. But in black and white. <laughs> so they had to just give everything patterns. Now, I've won a single game of Tetris 99. <laughs> um, so I'm not bad at Tetris, but I will say I am definitely coddled by modern Tetris's mechanics. Because this don't fool around. Oh god, I just realized something that I've um probably yeah. waited too long to take advantage of. That they did the that Tetris 99 skin that is just Game Boy Tetris colors. <laughs> I don't. I think I might have missed that boat. Oh, that'd be a shame. It would really be. I've, I always miss the ones I want. Oh no, I can't hold a piece. I just want to hold this. Just want a piece to hold. <laughs> oh, this is bad. This is a bad combo of things to be stuck with. Man, the long ones in this palette, though, hmm. not as good as the rest. Oh. Get you in there. I had room to do that anyways. So. <laughs> mm. I mean, everyone knows that getting four at once is the titular Tetris. Mm -hmm. Do any of the other ones have names? I don't think so. 
only the Tetris deserves a name. Pretty much. A Tetris by any other name is just as blocky. <laughs> Y'all see that tweet, like, on Jeopardy, somebody, like, they just <laughs> yes. repeated the fake made-up names for the Tetris blocks? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Tetris. Woo! It's been a while since I've... I've fallen way behind on GDQ, but I remember one... Whatever, the, like, the Tetris... Maniacs get out there and do their thing. It's just fucking. Like, how do you? How do you do that? How do you think that fast? Sounds a little terrifying, honestly. It is. Level dose. I've seen very few like professional level Tetris plays, and they confound me. Man, this is very chill Tetris. Yeah. Those song hits, I like it. <laughs> uh, now we see if my hubris is my downfall. <laughs> <laughs> no, all right. Making moves. Love that noise. The sound of success. Succeeding flamboyantly. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> if only I could be so grossly incandescent. Miss fast drops. <laughs> you, you get the drops you get. It's life, man. Yeah. Or do you? <laughs> Can you change your fate? If you had the chance to change your fate. <laughs> Would you? <laughs> If you had the chance to change your fit, <laughs> would <laughs> you? Keeping it simple down here. Just good, solid Tetris. Just Tetris goofing. Okay. <laughs> 
Sorry. Just new boot goofing. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's fine. I'm still devastated just looking at the last message in chat again. <laughs> Stop looking at it. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> it hurts. Where'd you? How'd your pinball adventure go? Oh, yeah. I got to two million five hundred, and then I was like, I'm gonna look up bowlers. <laughs> it's fair. I have the game paused right now. I'm just like by your time. Yeah. Watch I also it. might forget. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever if I've ever described anything I do as waiting. I kind of just like rush headlong into all danger. Yeah. Hmm. A little bit. Yeah. That's how I would describe you. Hmm. I'm sorry, there was absolutely no resistance there if you were looking for any. <laughs> I could wait, or I could get results. That's, the way you said wait, <laughs> it really seemed like you were interrupting yourself. either. How give me this one? Stupid game. Oh man. The one time you don't want a straight block. Alright, the real toucher starts here. Ooh. Yeah. We're in the shit now. Decisions that you gotta live with. You gotta. If you if you freeze, you die. Okay, okay, we're getting there. Okay. And that's nice. very forgiving of you, game. Thank you. Nice, nice, nice. I've got no worse chance. Six recovery. Where's the Tetris game with like? Damn it, that was the wrong. One. What Unreal Tournament announcing? Holy shit, <laughs> Tetris! It's like oh, nothing okay. ever happened. And then it gives me this shit again. Nope. Okay. You know what? Well, I'll shit. That was actually like a very valid move, and I feel stupid for not realizing it. You know, I'm, yeah, Tetris was definitely the right pick for presumably the last game of this block. Yes. Block. Eh. Eh. <gasps> no! Oh, it's... shit. It's like the game knows. It feels like it gets faster as soon as you make a fucking mistake. <laughs> shit. Okay, that's not what I meant to do, but alright. Oh yeah, there's no forgiveness. If that if that thing touches it for like a second, <laughs> that's what happens. Only God forgives. 
Jesus. Holy <laughs> <laughs> God. I'm just imagining, like, an old grizzled Tetris vet. <laughs> a Tetris. She's no. a hard mistress. Where have you been, youngin? Don't you know? Only God forgives. What have you been playing? High Cross? Ah, <laughs> uh, she's you know, a gentle lass, isn't she? You know nothing of the struggle. <laughs> the pain I've endured. <laughs> I meant to twirl it, but it just, you know, don't let you. It don't let oh, you. Oh, it don't no. let you. Oh no! <laughs> it goes. Oh, oh, it no. goes wrong. Here goes the tower. In a it hurry. Goes, it goes. It goes. It goes. <gasps> we got an ending. In to space. I'm pointing up. And she was yeah, I'm right. My hands are raised to the sky. I love outer space. I love this song. I'm just like basking in it with my hands still raised. What's our name? Boy, this song sounds super familiar. How many letters we get? Nasty. N A S T. D. No, oh, these. D K. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> Some of these nuts. No. Okay. Slams computer. These nat. You could do f nasty. Or you could do D Y. Um, would NTS suffice? Oops. Oh, Misty. Full Nesty, I love it. Nesty. <laughs> yes. I haven't had that in like many years. <laughs> All right, that'll wrap it up for our little side episode of Fifty Shades of Grayscale. Thank you all for joining us <laughs> for our little arcade and puzzle collection. I think that we might, I might arrange some more of these kinds of exposés. I don't know. They're nice. This is probably a theme I could scrounge up every 10 episodes or so. Who knows? For now, good night. Go for it. Good night, man. folks. Flamboyantly.